We are gonna make us some air fryer roasted Brussels and boy, they're gonna be good. And then we're also gonna make us a little bit of fish and this is gonna be our lunch today. These are Brussels that I have prepped already. Cut the ends off and half them. Now we're going to take my pull chopper and I am going to take some almonds and I'll use about that much. Lord mercy. Hmm. Missed your hand, didn't you? Yes. Just use about, I guess about a quarter cup. And you're just going to just chop them. I don't want to get them so little that, uh, well, I'll chop them just a little bit more. Well, I already took that out. How y'all like being live? With this crazy old woman. All right, wait a minute. Yeah, they got to be little enough to stick to the Brussels, don't they? Yeah. They're going to air fry them. Yeah. All right, Tammy's going to start her lawnmower. I can start this. I sure can't pull a lawnmower <laughs> cord. I can tell you that right now. All right, so let's throw them in there. Almonds. Okay. Mm. Already looks good, don't it? Mm-hmm. Um, Sesame seeds. I guess I could have tossed them in oil first. Let's do let's do the oil next. Oil. This is olive oil. You know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna throw it all in there and then we're gonna toss it. Mm -hmm. We'll do salt and pepper last. Okay. So that's sesame seeds. This is toasted sesame. Yeah, you did get the toasted ones. Uh -huh. Now, um, toasted sesame seed. I've got some parm and I don't have any of the fresh kind. So this is what we have and that's what we're using and you're just you know putting it on there you don't have to have a specific amount the only thing I haven't done is I'm gonna add some shallots now you can use dehydrated onion or onion powder if you don't have these these are from Kinsey's and they're just called air dried shallots and they're just really good and they have a really strong uh, flavor and they're just good Okay, so I'm going to throw those on there. And it's really nice to have shallots like this. I will say this. I don't represent pansies or anything like that. I use all the spices, no matter who they are, uh, if I like them. But I was going to tell you, it's nice to have dried shallots because I can never keep them fresh. You know, they go bad before I use them. Or, but it's nice to have them dried. Then you can just pull them out whenever you want to use them. Um, and I think that's it besides salt and pepper. So we're just going to toss this. I guess instead of clanging it, I'll use some wood. If I use my metal on metal, it drives some people crazy when they watch the show. So we're just going to toss all of this together so there's almonds. Let's put a little more olive oil. You've got to have a lot of olive oil for it to stick to it, okay? Um... All this good stuff. So you've got the almonds, you've got the cheese, you've got the sesames. Um, and those are actually roasted almonds, whole almonds that we just chopped. And then you've got the shallots. And now all we're going to do is salt and pepper it. And I'm going to do that when it's in the air fryer itself. Now, a lot of y'all are telling me about air fryer liners. So I thought I'd bring this up. Air fryers were not invented to use a liner in. There's a whole reason why it's called the air fryer. The air really needs to circulate all around the food. And when you put a liner in there, it really only gets to get the top part of the food. So I will never use, you'll never see me use an air fryer liner. They're non-stick on the inside. They're easy to clean. So to me, um, I just thought I'd tell you guys that. Yeah, it blocks all those holes in there, don't it? All yes, those. I mean, that's the whole point in it, having yeah. the holes in there. Yeah. And so you don't really want to block that. Now, I'm going to spray this a little bit, even if it's nonstick. I always think I got everything laid out and then I don't. Let me turn this on. I'm going to spray this a little bit with some olive oil. Because it never hurts. 
easy cleanup is fun. Makes it more fun. All right, so we're gonna get these Brussels in here. Look how easy this was. Now, if for some reason you're a bacon lover and you got some bacon bits that you've got, you know, you had some extra bacon and you got some, we actually have some in the uh, refrigerator. But I'm not gonna get them out because me and Chris are not that crazy about bacon all over everything. But you could always add it in there if that's what you like. But to me, this is gonna be a lot of flavor um, they asked, a lot of people will use a seasoning that has everything in it, kind of like everything bagel, and, but I'm going to be honest with you, some of the onions and the everything bagel, they're just, they just don't taste that good. So I, I would prefer you use other spices. I'm, I've used the everything bagel spice once. It's cool what brand you buy to how good it is. All right. So we're going to put this in there. And we're going to put the temperature on 360. 370. Oh, 370. For 8 to 10 minutes. So we're going to just check it in 8 minutes. All right? And we'll hit the start button. And while that's doing its thing, um, we're going to make some fish. Now this fish is, what is this, Chris? Trout. Trout. Speckled trout. Speckled trout. And I have got... Yet another skillet. Y'all are going to, I drive y'all crazy with buying stuff, but I, I went to all these outlets and I found this volcano skillet. Um, some people hate them. Some people love them. Um, never put a nonstick skillet. Even the Vikings that I had, we put them in the dishwasher and eventually they just don't work good as much as they cost. Um, so I thought I was going to try out this tornado. I'm not putting it in the dishwasher. I'm not putting anything else that's not stick in my dishwasher. Hmm. I don't put my air fryer in the dishwasher. Um, but we're going to see how this thing works. You already had it a, on. You can get them at all these outlets, but I don't know where all they sell, sell them. But I'll, I'll link it to Amazon because I do know they sell them on Amazon. And it's an affordable skillet. But if you want to wait a few weeks and see how much I like it, that would be wise. Tammy don't like to baby anything. That's, you know, so. Oh. She don't baby skillets. She Man, buys, she it got hot skillets. really quick. Oh, yeah. Which is a good thing. Well, it was already on. Well, I'm just saying, though, the, the heat oh, yeah, transfer is yeah. good. Looks good. I will say that. Mm -hmm. I, or, I can already tell that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to season these once I get them in here this butter. That way the seasoning will stick to them better. That brown butter tastes good too. So I'm going to flip them over before I season them. So that the seasoning will stick to them good. Then we'll flip them one more time. It's cooking good. All right, we're going to use my garlic and onion, the gourmet collection spice blend. You can get it at Home Goods. You can get it at Marshall's, Bell's, or on our website under spices, spice, spice rack, spices, whatever it's called. Shop now. We're going to grab us some lemon. And slice that sucker up. And if you want the plate to be really pretty when you're serving it, you can slice just a little, uh-oh, got a seed on there, a real thin slice of lemon before you squeeze it, just to make your plate pretty if you want to. If you're on YouTube. If you're, well, Chris, some people <laughs> like to make their plates pretty. Oh, yeah, that's true. Especially men. I don't know why, but when men cook, they think they got to have everything just beautiful. Mm-hmm. So now we can curl it. Actually, I did that wrong. I was only supposed to cut it once. Y'all, I am not in my A game today. Let me show you how to do that again. You slice one slice. Lost my mind. And you only make one slit. And then you can curl it. Huh. Except you need to make your slice. Y'all gonna laugh at me today. 
Anybody? <laughs> Woo! Did you put salt pepper on that? Uh, no. Now y'all know fish only needs to cook like three minutes on the side so that uh, you don't overcook it. Salt, pepper it. But now that, that uh, garlic stuff has salt in it, pretty sure. Does it? Yes. Ooh. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon in it while it's cooking and then I'll squeeze some on it when it comes out. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna flip it first though. I may have to get out my fish spatula. This is not steak I'm flipping here. Getting a nice little crust on it, ain't it? Yep. And if you wanted to, you could throw some capers on it, but Chris said he wasn't in the mood for them today. Looks good, smells good. Mm. Looks good, smells good. Let's put the timer on. How long they've been on there, but Yeah. They've been on there at least a minute, hadn't they? Flipped over. Driving me crazy because I did this wrong. Really? Yes. Driving me nuts. You're supposed to slice it thin and it has to be equal all the way around. It can't be like fat. It's because I got this little knife yeah, out. You can use a bigger knife. Let's see? Then you can curl it. Yeah. There it goes. Look at that. But anyway. Keep messing with it. Or you can just throw a big old slice of lemon on it. It's pretty just because it's lemon, ain't it? Yes. There's a little slice. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, it's going to taste good. That's what oh, matters most. We need to shake these. Oh, do we? Yeah, they're down to the last two minutes. Ooh. You have not paid attention. They sure ain't done. No. I'll tell you that. Take them up, girl. And I think they need more oil on them. We can spray them. No. Boy, they smell good, don't they? Mm-hmm. Delish. See, I think they should be up a little higher because I like them brown. Yeah. Can I turn them up? Yeah, good to cook. All right, so I put that on 370 for how many minutes to start with? Eight, so it cooked six. Eight, so now I'm going to put it on 400 for six minutes. I won't cook it the whole six minutes, though. Okay. All right, and I think this is done. <laughs> Done, Daddy, done. All right. All right, so let me clean up a mess right here. We're going to make us a plate. Uh, these are amazing, and they chop stuff really well. You want me to get that out of that pan, Chris? Yeah, I don't want my fish to be. Okay. When he starts giving me hand signs, I think I do that. Stuff. Yeah, look how pretty that is. I want to flip it and see what the other side looks like, can I? Or you don't want me to? I mean, do what you want to do, can It's going to be pretty. Pretty? Yeah, perfect. Well. Wow. Come here to me. I'll just get out on the plate for heaven's sakes. I'll give you two fat ones. Okay. I guess we're going to have to take a picture of mine because I bested yours up. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just going to roll mine out. That way it'll look good. Something pretty. Look at that. Look at there how pretty those are. Mmm. Get the butter out of there, y'all. Yeah. This ain't get good. So far, so good. That's the first yeah, when they're new, they really seem to do good. All right, so these Brussels, 
Um, I only have a couple of more minutes and then we can eat. I can pick this stuff up real quick. Okay. Make a little pinch of this fish. Okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Man, what can you taste of that? I know it's gonna be good. We hadn't done it. Do you any. want more lemon on it? No, that's fine. You sure? Well, you, I mean, we could taste it before you put any more lemon on it. Okay. But that lemon will go really good with that garlic. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you got fresh garlic, you can always cook it in that fresh garlic. I don't think it would hurt to put, put a little lemon on our All right. ruffles. No, it wouldn't. It'd be good. I'll love it. We got tons of lemons <laughs> from our neighbors. I got a whole drawer full of lemons. We got a million lemons. Because the lemons come in this time of year. Well, they come in around Thanksgiving, yeah. Christmas season. Let's see what they look like now. Ooh, yeah, another. Now that's more like toasting it. up. Yeah, I don't like them to be too brown, so just put them on the higher setting long enough to get them nice and toasty. But you don't want to get them too brown, or they'll taste burnt. And I'm going to squeeze some lemon on them. Good stuff. And we're going to get them on the plate. Talk to me. That's your timer. My husband's always setting the timers. Okay. So you think they should cook it on 400 the whole time? Or do you think they should do like... Oh, no. 380 or... or... Mid middle. Oh, so kind of do it I like we did it. I would do it, it half, half and half, just yeah. like we do our bacon. Yeah. And that way you're getting um, the best of both worlds. You want them down low enough to cook on the inside. We're having a lot, y'all, because this is our lunch. And we're not eating, you know, more sides. So we're going to be hogs with the Brussels, which... Is good for you, so let's get the almonds in here. There you go. Simple lunch, quick, fast, and easy. Chris has got lots of almonds on his. Mine does too. All right, let's get us a bite. I'm gonna taste off Chris's plate so I can take a picture of mine when we're done. There's our flaky fish. Let me open it up so y'all can see the inside of it. See how pretty it looks? And Chris, he catches all this fish down here. So we live on the coast of Georgia, if you didn't know. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try a brussel. Those nuts are good? Yeah. I think we should put a little parm on them. A little more? Yeah, now that they're on the plate, because it's hot. They're nice and hot. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you don't have parm and you got feta, you can use feta. They're really, really good. If you like Brussels sprouts and you got an air fryer, I would use it. Mmm, they're perfectly cooked. You want them soft? Enough that you can chew it. Oh, they're really good. Mm. And you want them toasty on the outside. These are packed with flavor. Got more than one texture. It's just a really good lunch, and we're going to let you go so Chris can eat it. Y'all have a wonderful day, and we thank you so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks. Where we learned to use an air fryer that our mama didn't have.